Movies are our gateway into a life larger than our own. It is a peek into the life of someone who, more often than not, will go through a dilemma and be changed by that dilemma by the time the story has wrapped up. But the story being told isn't always so cut and dry. In fact, it'll often leave you with more than a few questions that you'll be asking yourself long after the credits have rolled. Questions like, what was in the briefcase in Pulp Fiction? Is Deckard a replicant? And what the fuck is happening with literally anything in The Shining? But there's one question that stands above the rest. A question that has been aggressively debated on for nearly 30 years and has shown no conclusive answer by anyone who dares to try and solve what is possibly one of the greatest questions in all of cinema. Well, all that changes today because after countless hours of research, meditation, going to film school twice, and selling my soul to a Spencer's employee, don't ask, I believe I can finally answer the age-old question, is The Nightmare Before Christmas a Halloween or Christmas movie? Let's find out. Just a quick recap of the film, The Nightmare Before Christmas is a Tim Burton movie about Jack Skellington, better known as the Pumpkin King by the people of the town Jack is in charge of, Halloween Town. For many years, Jack has been in charge of the holiday that we all know as Halloween, but has grown tired of the same old thing, scaring people year after year after year. And despite being praised as the best of the best in terms of scaring by everyone in Halloween Town, Jack decides he wants more out of life, and after stumbling across a magic door in the forest, he ends up in a little place known as Christmas Town. Here, Jack finds what he thinks he's looking for, and after doing some digging, decides that he wants to start running Christmas from now on. But after nearly ruining Christmas for the entire world and having an epiphany, Jack realizes that Christmas just isn't for him. And after defeating his enemy and getting the girl, Jack is now content and finally accepts his place as the Pumpkin King. It's a beautiful, heartwarming ending. Kind of you know, rushed a little bit, but, you know, beautiful nonetheless. Nowadays, the debate as to whether or not The Nightmare Before Christmas is a Christmas movie or Halloween movie is about as synonymous with the film as Jack Skellington is. And when I say debate, I mean violent argument. Seriously, you should see some of the online discussions about it. It's more insane than you think. And the worst part is, the fan base for this movie hasn't really reached a definitive conclusion as to what holiday this movie is truly representing. But I can't really blame them, as it's not really so straightforward. I mean, is it a Halloween movie because most of the characters are monsters who live in a place called Halloween Town? Or is it a Christmas movie because that's the holiday that Jack is ultimately trying to take over? Well, I'm pretty confident I have a definitive answer to the question. But in order to answer it, we first have to establish what makes a movie about Christmas or Halloween. A lot of people both ironically and unironically believe that in order for a Christmas movie to be a Christmas movie, all it needs to do is take place during Christmas and not much else really. The prime example of this is when people say that Die Hard is a Christmas movie. It's an argument that I absolutely despise, the taking place during the holiday part, not Die Hard. But I do hate that argument too. I don't care what anyone says, Die Hard is not a Christmas movie. I don't believe that just because a movie has a certain holiday in it means that that movie is about that holiday. By that logic, Sam Raimi's first Spider-Man is a Thanksgiving movie, or Steven Spielberg's E.T. is a Halloween movie, or the first Harry Potter film is a Christmas movie. It takes more than just one scene to make a movie about a specific holiday. Take, for example, the movie Elf. The movie starts off on the North Pole. It has Santa Claus, and as the title states, the movie is about a Christmas elf. But what makes it a Christmas movie isn't the setting. It's what the protagonist, Buddy the Elf, does throughout the movie. Using his love for the holidays and eagerness to spread the joy of Christmas, Buddy humbles the characters he meets throughout the movie, 
ultimately turning them into better people using the power of Christmas spirit. Yeah! Oh my god! I'm singing! I'm in a store and I'm singing! In order for a movie to truly be about any holiday, the movie's themes and overall message have to coincide with what the overall holiday is about. And The Nightmare Before Christmas doesn't do that for either holiday. You know why? Because as it turns out, The Nightmare Before Christmas is not a Christmas or Halloween film. It's a love story. What? <sighs> okay, fine, fine, I'm cool, I'm fine. I know, I know, it sounds ridiculous and far-fetched and stupid, but please, 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 before you end my career and click off this video, just hear me out on this one, alright? Now, I'm not saying that The Nightmare Before Christmas is a Valentine's Day movie, nothing like that. What I mean is that the story mainly focuses on the aspect of love. Think about it, one of the first things we learn about Jack is that he no longer has any kind of love or enjoyment for his role as the Pumpkin King, and would gladly take something else should the opportunity arise. And that's exactly what happened. But I think it's very likely that even if he'd fallen down a different door in the forest, he probably would have had the same reaction he had in Christmas Town, because it's different from what he knows. Jack is so dead set on finding something new that he actually deludes himself into believing that Christmas is his new calling constantly ignoring the warnings of the mayor, Sally, and even Santa Claus himself. A delusion that ended up getting him shot out of the sky and nearly ruining Christmas, all because he had no love for what he is meant to be, the Pumpkin King. But it doesn't have to be just that either. By the end of the movie, Jack learns that, in a way, he can actually have both, and the people of Halloween Town subsequently accept Christmas in their own ways. Whereas Jack only saw it from the perspective of a man who is desperate and will take the first opportunity he can to get out of doing his job. But by the end, he learns to love who he is and what he does. Jack Skellington, however, isn't the only character in the film who struggles with the concept of love. There is another character who arguably has a harder time with it than he does. And that character is none other than Sally. We see in the film that Sally lives a very sheltered life because of her creator, Dr. Finkelstein. Sally wants to break free not just from the literal barriers of her life, but the metaphorical ones as well. She wants to express to Jack how she really feels about him, but can't do it because she just doesn't know how. But one thing Sally does know is that she's in love with Jack. And it's not because of his status, but it's because she sees herself in Jack. Like Jack, Sally feels restless and trapped in a life that she didn't really ask for, and both have their feelings disregarded constantly in spite of their very obvious misery. And while it's not fully explained as to why Jack loves Sally, it's more than likely because Sally actually aided Jack in his journey to finding something new, as seen when she brings him the ingredients for his experiment. This clearly means something to Jack, as Sally is the first person who doesn't outright dismiss his feelings or praise him solely for his status as the Pumpkin King, but instead, she accepts Jack for who he is on the inside, instead of just some idol who should be worshipped, a sentiment that Jack has very clearly lost interest in. Interestingly enough, Sally is a character who not only feels the absence of love, but also exists because of it. We later find out that the reason that Dr. Finkelstein is so frustratingly vigilant of Sally's whereabouts all the time is because he created her so that he wouldn't be lonely anymore. Sure, he's in the wrong for keeping her on such a tight leash, but he only does so because he has no one else in his life. That is until the end of the movie where he builds a wife for himself, someone who will always be by his side, someone who will never leave him, someone who will always love him. Once that happens, he couldn't care less about what Sally's up to, inadvertently setting her free, allowing her to do what she wants, because he too has finally found love. The film also, brilliantly, shows the other side of loving something, almost to a fault, as the citizens of Halloween Town love Halloween so much that not even a full day passes before they start preparing for next Halloween. To them, there's nothing outside of Halloween, not even the possibility that the man they all love and admire wants nothing to do with it anymore. It's possible that this constant feedback played a part in Jack losing all interest for Halloween, 
This idea also applies perfectly to Jack, as he becomes so in love with the idea of taking over Christmas that it takes nearly getting himself killed to realize that Christmas is not his show to run. And going back to Dr. Finkelstein, we know he loves Sally deep down, but as a result, she's sheltered and has little to no freedom for most of the film because of it, like Jack. I love how the movie shows us that love isn't all sunshine and rainbows, but it can also be toxic and harmful even when there's good intentions behind it. It's surprisingly adult and is a pretty profound message for what a lot of people say is just a kid's movie. Truth be told, you guys, you really could just watch this movie on either Christmas or Halloween. There's no law against it, and putting the love factor aside, the movie does explore both holidays enough to where it could be considered appropriate for either holiday. But for Christ's sakes, can we please, please, please stop arguing about whether or not it's a Halloween or Christmas movie? By doing so, we're only missing the point of the whole film. People like to argue that it's a Christmas movie because that's the holiday Jack falls in love with, and they'd be right if that's where the movie ended. But in the end, Jack goes back to being the Pumpkin King because Christmas isn't for him. This would lead you to believe that, oh, this is what makes it a Halloween movie, but you'd be forgetting that Jack ends up bringing Christmas to Halloween Town, but then that makes you wonder if bringing Christmas to Halloween Town makes it a Christmas movie, and to that I say, please shut the fuck up and don't overthink this. Watch your profanity. The whole point of The Nightmare Before Christmas is that it's not about picking one or the other. It's about the process of loving something. And in order to love what he does, Jack introduces some variety. Instead of being a dark and scary graveyard, by the end of the film, Halloween Town is now a beautiful winter wonderland, completely different from what it was before. This helps Jack rekindle the love for his job, and it brings him closer to Sally, someone who's loved him from the very beginning. It's not a movie about presents or scaring people. It's a movie that, as cliche as it sounds, shows what love does when people come together, even if it's in an unconventional fashion. The Nightmare Before Christmas is a love story, and judging by the movie's themes and ideas, I have a strong feeling that from the very beginning, that's what it was always meant to be. Thank you guys so much for watching, and if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment letting me know what you thought. If you want to see more videos like this, then be sure to hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell to be notified every time I upload a new video. But other than that, guys, thank you all so much for watching, and have a great day.